Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the test account and the new patch is up, which means we do have access to our brand new hero, guys. Now I covered Leica in a video a little bit earlier, but super, super strong, guys. I know 100% there are gonna be new metas that are gonna be formed from her. I feel like the damage for her is gonna do incredibly well in formations. Crazy, crazy build, guys. Not only is she a major buffer, but she also is still a ranger. So Dura Celerity and even going in here, um, there's going to be some, some disruption in the formations based on how Leica is built. Now, in addition, guys, we did get our autumn theme, as you can see. Really cool when they do this, when you see all of the changes within here. Feel like it is the natural progression of the game. Now, in addition, guys, we do have the new Thrilling Voyage that is up. They continue to add a lot of this. You can see right here is the Grim Expanse. Um, this does have the timed part. So you wanna make sure guys, the judgment decree, you wanna go through here and you wanna finish this out. You only have so many days. Now with the addition of Leica, we do get some more, um, some more time emblems. Out of here, you do get additional time emblems. You see baits, you see scrolls. Make sure you're farming all of your time emblems out of here guys as much as possible. Then of course, within the chest itself, there are some Stargazer cards, but it looks like they revamped the emblem chest, which is pretty cool. So this is a little bit of a change right there with the emblem chest. But again, make sure you're going in here, make sure you're doing the Grim Expanse and finishing that out in the Judgment Chronicles. Now, in addition, guys, there are a couple other things. Um, as far as the events that are coming, we have the Gift of Time, that is right. 50 free cards. Now they started this, of course, with the second version of the second series of the Awakened Heroes, but this allows you to make a lot of progression on the current Awakened Heroes that you're building as well as the newer Awakened Heroes. I know on my free-to-play account, we are going right now towards our fifth. That is right, guys. It is our fifth Awakened Hero as free-to-play. I'm, of course, going through and making sure that you farm out that tower. Now, in addition, guys, we do have the warm-up debut, which is going to yield us some more. We have the overview, again, going to yield us some more. So overall, even with all everything that we have going on, in addition to the Voyage of Wonder that is coming, you're going to see probably 100 plus emblems at this point. I, I think we're right on par for about 100 emblems um, out of the couple different game modes that we have going on right now. Now, in addition, guys, we are also looking at the calendar right down here, paying special attention on this autumn time, which is going to be available tonight. It is going to offer you a free copy of Flora. That is right, guys. We are getting another copy of Flora, which means that we're gonna have the ability, if you're like me on the YouTube account, I already have two copies of Flora, but a third one means that I can swap it in the rickety cart for the Celestials and Hypogens, um, so I can actually change it up. Now, Dolly also has a new message, guys, and I'm just kind of looking through some of the patch notes in here. Dolly also does have a new message about the new hero, which is gonna be a light bearer, um, kind of based on what she says, which we'll take a look. Here, um, a thousand fleet sailed in the for um, is the pride of the empire. Its flagship torchbearer is unbeatable. So it is going to be a sailor. Now, over on Dolly's corner, we did see something that almost looked like a sailor on the throne or someone on a throne, which reminded me, of course, instantly of Sonia, um, kind of sitting in the chair when we did see her initial picture. It was actually Sonya sitting in a chair, the ruler of the underworld. So it seems like it's going to be a captain. I don't know if he's sitting in like a captain's chair or anything of that nature. But again, we are going to see that as well. Now, also within here, we do have a new boss. That is right, guys. Within here, there is a new boss to the Nightmare Corridor. And it looks pretty freaking creepy um, as much as I like it. I know it is the Nightmare Corridor, guys. But this is really, really cool looking. Um, with the new boss that we have here. And again, the the ability to go in here and actually farm these, it's cool that they keep coming up with all of these new bosses. You can see, if you remember the puppet, um, but overall, we're still waiting for them to do something with these bosses, guys. Again, as much as we love the Nightmare Corridor and we love all the bosses that are coming in there, as well as the Curse Realm, um, they have to do something sooner or later with Riz and Sorn. And I know a lot of players comment on that on a regular basis but definitely need to, to do an update on there. Now, unfortunately, at this point, we cannot see um, like as an animated, um, animated avatar frame because it's not up right now. When the patch notes come up, she is not actually in the merchant ship, and I get this question a lot. So when we go to the advanced ship, she is not there until um, the reset. So she comes up when the patch comes up. 
She is not available to actually see until we do get the reset. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit to see exactly when the reset um, when the reset happens, what the animated avatar frame looks like. In addition, we know that chapter 60 was actually released. So looking at the world map, I don't think we're gonna be able to see it in here, but I wanna say it's down, maybe it's over here. There we go, guys, there's Candyland. So chapter 60, I believe, is officially here. Where exactly it's at, I am not sure, because I see the 50s right there. Cleansing Realm we've seen before. That's kind of interesting if it if it's starting to go somewhere up here. There it is. So it is in the top left, guys. So they moved it. The Wild Market, the Ruined Ship Line. And there, there is the runes, guys. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get in there yet. But for any of the end game players, guys, we are now 60 chapters in, which is crazy because I think years ago when we only had 20 something chapters, um, when AFK Arena was was very, very in the infancy stage. But you can see, guys, there is more than enough land and more than enough room that we're going to continue with the world map and continue with everything that we have here. All right, guys, just a quick summary of kind of the, the patch notes that are coming out. I thought there was something in there about the rickety card as well. But I think it was it was like an optimization in there. Um, not sure. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research and see exactly what it is. But guys, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.